Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you're returning, welcome back. So in today's video, I purchased some more pajamas um, because I normally lounge around in pajamas all day. I'm only in regular clothes because I'm recording this video. After this, I'm getting right back into my pajamas. So I'm actually going to be embroidering, doing a monogram on um, the shirt of this pajama set that I just bought. I figured I have nothing green. So, and I thought this was a really cute set. So I'm going to go ahead and do a monogram design on the shirt. So I'm going to go over all of the supplies that I have, everything that you'll need if you're wanting to monogram um, some pajamas or a shirt or whatever it is. So I have my pajama set. I'm going to be using some cutaway stabilizer. I also have some water soluble stabilizer. I have my chalk pencil, so I'm going to mark my placement on my top. And I also have my measuring tape. And then you'll, of course, need your embroidery machine of your choice. So I'm going to show you how I hoop everything up and how I get it onto the machine to monogram on a single needle machine. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my hoop and cut my stabilizer. And then we're going to get uh, our top all hooped up and over to the machine. So let's do this. Okay, so I have my um, stabilizers all cut out. So I have a small piece of water-soluble stabilizer that I'm going to just float on top of the design. And I'll show you guys that at the machine. Then I cut out my um, cutaway stabilizer. And I just made it a little bit bigger than my hoop. So that's how I normally size mines when I'm using the roll versus the pre-cut sheets. Okay, so I have, like I say, my stabilizers. I'm gonna set that off to the side right now. And my hoop, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that up. And then I'm going to use my measuring tape and my chalk pencil to um, get my placement as far as the uh, chest placement for where I want the monogram to go. So, me take my measuring tape and then I normally go from the very top of the collar right where the seam ends at the collar and then I measure down usually about eight inches or so and so I'm gonna just take my ruler I'm gonna go down eight inches is right there and so I'm just gonna take my chalk pencil and I'm just going to mark Put a line there so I'll know where my center point is or kind of put like a little circle. And so. Okay, so I have it marked where I want it. So now comes the fun part of hooping it up and getting your stabilizer in there. So first I put my, I like to put my hoop in and make sure my placement is good or you know kind of adjust my hoop as i need to and then i'll um, grab my other piece of my hoop and just kind of get an idea of where it's going to be make sure it's where i want it and yes that is good and I'm going to actually move this over just a little bit because it was off center a little bit of where I put my mark at. Okay, so that's perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my piece of stabilizer, put it on top of the hoop inside the shirt, and then put uh, finish hooping it up. And I'm gonna try without moving my hoop. I'm gonna kind of hold my hoop while I'm pulling the stabilizer through and making sure it's on the entire hoop. Okay, once I have it on there, I'm gonna kind of hold it in place, fix my shirt back.
make sure I'm good. Okay. And I need to adjust the stabilizer just a little bit. So again, I'm making sure that it's covering the entire hoop and that my hoop did not move. My placement's still good. And I'm going to just kind of put Then I'm gonna put my other hoop on top or the other part of the hoop. And yeah, that did move some. So now I'm gonna have to readjust. So when I was putting my stabilizer in it, my hoop most likely slid a little bit. So I'm gonna go back underneath. Make sure everything is good and even. Make sure your shirt is straight. Okay, and then I'm going to double check and make sure my placement is still good. Make sure it's where I want it. And yes, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and press my hoop down. And yep, got my placement exactly where I wanted it. So you will have to kind of mess around with it. I actually did um, just order a hooping station, so I can't wait for that to come. Hopefully that'll make this process way more easier. So I'm just tightening up my hoop now before I lift it up, make sure it doesn't pop out of place or anything like that. And you wanna make sure your hoop is very, very tight. Okay, so everything's good, everything's secure. And let me kind of turn it around so you guys can see how it is hooped in here. So that's how it's looking. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to take you guys over to the machine. We're gonna get this attached and then uh, we'll start embroidering out the shirt. So I'll be right back. I'm going to move you guys over to the machine. So we are over at the machine now. I already have my design up already, ready to go. And the thread that I'm going to be using is kind of, kind of matches this really good. So I said I'll go ahead and use this one. So then, and I'm going to check my bobbin because... That is why I put that there, because I happen to always forget to check my bobbin and end up having to stop my design while it's stitching because I end up running out of bobbin. So, and I have my stabilizer here as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and slide that underneath and I need to grab my clips as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hook that over here. Make sure that nothing is underneath, which is not, so we're good there. Then I have these clips. I got these, I believe, from Joann's a few years back. And I'm just going to kind of clip the shirt out of the way. That way, um, you don't have to worry about, you know, your shirt kind of um, getting caught in there or anything like that. You don't want to stitch your shirt together. So I'm going to just go ahead and kind of clip it together so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to just probably put one here as well. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and Put my thread through. Okay. And this machine is really simple to thread. It's just kind of up, down, up, down. And then there's a little hook at the bottom near the needle. You just put it on there, let your foot down. And that's how you use the automatic needle threader. And then I'm gonna put my thread through the eye and press it down. 
Now mine's is still showing red. That's because I'm still in the editing um, screen. So I'm gonna click on embroidery and I'm ready to go. So I won't have you guys sitting here for the full 19 minutes that is gonna take to stitch this design out. Um, I'll show you bits and pieces and kind of speed it up. And then we'll go back over to the table and I'll show you the finished result once everything has stitched out. So now you notice that it is green. So I'm gonna go ahead, again, double checking my shirt is good. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and let it do its thing. embroidering so let's take her back over to the table so we can see the finished result all right y'all so we are finished embroidering just take my clips off and I need to grab some scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and take off my hoop so let's get that off and I actually didn't even use the water soluble uh, stabilizer just because this isn't um, a thick type of stretch material. So I more so use the water soluble stabilizer for like hoodies or sweatshirts, things like that. This is pretty thin. And then the uh, cutaway stabilizer, it was pretty stable. So I didn't even use the um, water soluble but you can if you want to oh, another clip fire all right so that is how she is looking right now so i'm going to turn this inside out so then i can cut away this uh stabilizer and i'm going to use my smaller scissors here and be careful so I don't actually cut my pajamas. And so I cut it a little bit and then I just kind of go around. And then I'll come back and clean it up if I need to. And you want to take your time when you're doing this. Be careful because you don't want to cut your garment when you're cutting away this tear, um, not the tear away, uh, the cutaway stabilizer. All right. Then I do have some thread that I'm just going to trim down. And it was only a little bit, so I'm good with that. So that's how it's looking on the inside. Then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back over. And yes, it turned out good. With the matching pajamas, the thread went perfectly. That thread option that I chose so that is how it looks. And that is the pajama bottoms. I was going to embroider something on the bottoms, but I'm like, eh, there's really no need. Unless I did like a much smaller, because this is a three inch monogram. Maybe if I do maybe a two inch, one and a half, two inch, a very small monogram somewhere on the pants you know, something like that. But otherwise, just the top is good for me. I really like how that turned out. If you guys do have any questions, leave them below in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.